Hi everyone, welcome back to the series of data interpretation part 3. Today we are going to discuss about bar graph. So let's try to analyze the question. Now here in the given question, the bar graph given below shows the number of male and female participants in the city marathon in 5 years from 2011 to 2015. Now this bar graph indicates uh, here if you observe for 2011 we have two different colors of lines. If you observe here they have clearly mentioned that blue color line indicates male participants in marathon and red color line indicates female participants in marathon and they have given the count as well. Okay, so guys do remember sometimes if they will give exact count so we can take that count. Sometimes they may not mention these particular values so for that like you, you need to refer these y axis line here we have 0, 500, 1000 and if you have in between you can take an approximate value to solve the questions so, th so that like you will get like approximate values in the options. Now let's try to analyze the question. Okay, so as I said we have to uh, from 2011 to 2015 for over 5 years so how many people are participating I mean again they have uh, clearly given it as like for male participants and female participants in the city marathon. Okay, if you observe the first question find the ratio of average number of male participated in the marathon in 2012, 13, 14 to average number of females participated in 2011, 12 and 13. Only thing that you should understand is just you need to know how to calculate an average. So everybody knows that average is equals to sum of observations by number of observations, right? Now let's try to solve this first question. Now the ratio of average number of males participated in 2012, 13, 14. So 2012 blue color line indicates here clearly. So 2150 plus 2013 it indicates 1700 plus 2014 blue color line indicates 2300 divided by so average represents sum of observations by number of observations for 3 years I have written count as 3. Now if you calculate the average so here 300 will go here to total we will be having to 6000 6150 so you can say that it is 2050 will be the average so 2050 will be the average now next the average number of females participated so now again the same thing this is for male and uh, we need to calculate for females as well in 2011 2011 females is 1250 plus 2012 females is 1150 plus 2013 females is 1800 divided by 3. So if you try to calculate this average as well, so if you take this it will be, uh, if you take uh, 50 here it is 1300, 14, 1400, 2400, 4200. So sum is 4200 by this will gives you an average of 3 1 time 3 14 times so uh, average will be 1400 now we got to know that average of all male participants and average of all female participants in that particular specific years now they are not asking us to find only average they are asking us to find if you observe what is the word here we have ratio so they clearly mentioned that ratio so we need to find the ratio for 2050 to 1400 so 0 0 will get cancelled so 5 5 4 times is 20 5 1 time is 5 next year 5 2 times is 10 40 5 8 times is 40 okay 5 2 is 10 5 8 times is 40 so 41 is to 28 is your final answer is there option here 41 is to 28 yes option 3 clearly given that 41 is to 28 this is how you can solve question now I hope you all are clear about this first question let's move on to the next one okay yeah what is the next question in which year maximum people participated in the marathon so they have clearly given that in which year maximum people participated in the marathon so maximum people so let's try to analyze the question actually to solve this particular question no need to use pen and paper not much calculation required just only basic additions required right so maximum people participated in the marathon so if you if you consider 2011 2011 so if you consider these two values for male and female participants in 2011 so here 1800 plus 1200 will gives you 3000 
3050 is the participants in 2011. Now, let's go with 2012. Just rough calculations, okay? In 2012, it is, so here 2300 plus 1000, 4300. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, here 3300. So, here total we will be having 3300. Now, if you consider in 2013, 1700 plus 1800, which will give you 3500. So, as of now, the highest we got to know it is 3500. Now, if you observe in 2014, 2300 plus 900, it is just only 3200. So, which is less than 3500. Even this also indicates, if you observe, it is just only 3000. Now, out of all the values we add up, added up for male and female participants in marathon, we got to know that 2013 will be having the highest number of participants registered. I hope you all are clear. So, my answer is 2013. Just no need to use any pen and paper for this type of questions. We can just adding up the values and we will get to know which answer is correct. I hope you all are clear with this question. Let's move on to the next one, third one. Here for finding third question, so find the total number of participants in marathon in 2016. If the total participants increased by 25% in 2016 or the average of participants in 2014 and 15. So here if you observe this question, actually we will be having a lot of things involved in that. First thing we should register, okay, here we have only up to 2015. But they have clearly mentioned that it is all about 2016. We don't have 2016 in the graph. Okay, but if you observe the question, they're talking about you need to find total number of participants in 2016, which is after 2015. But the condition here is that uh, the uh, participants in 2016 is 25% more than 25% more than the average of 2014 and 15. First thing you need to calculate average of 2014 and 2015. First, calculate average of 2014 and 15. Now, uh, uh, let's let's try to find it out first and then we'll see it later, remaining conditions. For 2014 and 2015, what will be the average? So, average of participants in 2014 and 15. First, 2014, total how many participants are there in 2014 completely? It is 3,200, right? 3,200, total complete participants of male and female. In 2015, Total complete participants. How many members are there here? If you observe, it is 3000. Now I can write that it is 3000 by 2. Why? Because it is an average, right? So what will be the value here? You will get 6200 by 2, which is nothing but 3100. We got to know average value, average is equals to 3100. Now let's come to the point in the question. Now, here, if the total participants increased by 25% in 2016 over the average of 2014 and 15, actually they are talking about 2016, how many participants are there means, okay, whatever the average we have, okay, for over the 2014 and 15, in, along with this particular average, they uh, got increased by 25% of the average, this is what the condition given, whatever in 2016, whatever the people, we got to know that average of 2014 and 15, this average plus here because they have increased by 25% in 2016, means increased by 25% means you should add up the values, let me, let, let me uh, try to write this calculation here, so 3100 plus 25% of 3100, so simply I can write 25% means 1 by 4. Can I write it as 1 by 4? Because 25% can be written as 1 by 4. To make our calculations simple and uh, more faster, so I'm just writing it as 1 by 4. So it, we can cancel the values. 4, 7 times is 28. So reminder is 30. So again, 4, 7 times is 28. Okay, reminder is 2 now. 4, 5 times is 20. Now for this 3100, if you add 775, so these many more got increased for 2016 comparatively previous years. Now, 3100 plus 775 means 3875. These are the total number of participants in the marathon, especially in the year of 2016. So, final answer is 3875. So, do we have option? Yeah. 3875. Option 4 is 
or answer okay i hope you all are uh, clear with this particular question let's move on to the next one let me erase this okay what is the fourth one here we have let's let's go with the fourth one yeah here we have a fourth fourth question what is the difference between the average male participants in marathon and average female participants in the marathon so only thing very simple here first you need to calculate the uh, i mean average and find out the difference between male uh, participants average and female participants average this is one way of solving let's let's try to analyze this okay if you observe the difference between average of male participants in marathon and average of female participants in marathon what majority of the students will do is first they will they will find average for all the male, male participants okay let's say for male participants in 2011 is 1800 plus 2150 plus 2300 plus 2300 they will add up the values and they will make the average for male mar, uh, male participants and they will uh, make average for female uh, participants now they will take the difference between that so instead of doing that let me give you a simple solution for that so instead of calculating uh, average and then doing difference let's try to take the differences between male and female and let's try to make a average that that's very simple right let's let's consider in 2011 in 2011 what is the difference between male and female participants that's what so what is the difference between male and female participants now here male part participants are more than female participants right so that's the reason i am writing it as 550 is the difference between means 550 participants of male uh, male participants are more in the number when comparatively for female participants now in 2012 if you observe even again the same male participants are more than female partici participants what is the difference here okay thousand i am adding up the values later i will take the average so anyhow by 5 i can write 5 okay because we are taking average right average of the differences male and female now in 2013 if you observe here female participants are more than the male participants right now 1800 minus 1700 it, it will be minus 100 if you will take plus 100 your answer will change okay so minus 100 big why it is minus 100 means so female participants are more than the male participants right now in 2014 if you observe again male participants are more in the number what is the difference here we can say that it is plus 1400 okay next again in 2015 female participants are more in the number comparatively male participants what is the difference here we have minus 100 again now if you find out the value of this particular average average of these values now 1400 2400 2400 200 is 2200 2200 plus 550 is 2750 divided by 5 okay so here this value will gives you okay 5 five times is 25 again 5 five, five times is 25 zero this is what the average okay average of uh, that i mean the difference between male and female participants we have an option called 550 okay so that's it for uh, the fourth question i hope you all are clear with this particular question let's move on to the fifth one okay now i hope you can able to see this fifth question so i explained four questions about this particular data now what you need to do is okay just pause the video and try solving this particular question whatever the answers you got try to post your answers in the chat box especially for this particular question If your answer is correct I'll pin it at the top in the comment box thank you